Cha-cha. Hey, did you hear about the worm that fell in love with his other end? No. He went around with himself for years. <laughs> That's terrible. What's joke machine? Hey, Ian. Aye, what's that? What do you call frozen water? Ice. What do you call frozen cream? Ice cream. What do you call frozen tea? Ice tea. What do you call frozen ink? I stink. Ha <laughs> no, you do <laughs> You can be a little Frankie and be one of Jimmy's gang. You can live life like a flower as you grow up with a bang. You could be a little Frankie. Make the front page headline news. Be a star on all the TV. We better machine. get this car cleaned and, uh, up. Jimmy, Look at the mess it's in it. Doing in there? Keep what, quiet. I'm in here with my pals and I'm cleaning up this car because there's loads of rubbish in it. Loads of rubbish. Look, oh, you put the there's a smelly there. old bootlet. Oh, what a pom. <laughs> and I know something else. There's loads of spiders in here. Ooh, I ooh. saw them earlier on, Andrew. They were going blah, 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 blah. Jimmy, just forget about that because you've got to pick the two to do the joke of the week this week. Of course, week. I know that. Do well, you think I'm you... silly or something? Who's I've got be? Andrea and Andrew. They're going to come with me to the director's chair to pick the Joker of the Week. Come right. on, Andrew, Andrew. You two can go back to your you seats You two go now. back to your seats. And right. Have you, have you got the joke books over there? Yes, we you? have. There you go, Caroline and oh. Wayne. Jump down. Oh, Are she's you sure got... you can organise this? I'm organising it. Don't worry. Yeah, right. I don't know. Andrea, you can sit here. Oh, quick, quick. Fred, Fred. Sit down. Fred's made a joke. I'm just going to go and see what Fred's see made what Fred's today. Made this oh, look, he's been oh, working hard. Look. Oh, look me. at this. Oh, my God, oh, right. oh, 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 what have we got here? All oh, right. First joke. First joke from Fred. Right. Why did the punk cross the road? I don't know. Because he was stapled to the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Because he was stapled to the chicken. No, because there wasn't any chickens in those days. <laughs> I nearly messed that up. It's you. Um, I've got a joke. Have you? Let me see. Let me do this one, right? Right, right. right. It's an impression. Right. What goes ho, 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 swish, swish. Ho, 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 swish, swish. I don't know. Father Christmas in a revolving door. <laughs> <laughs> good day. Eh? If you can laugh at that, you can knit fog. That makes it cheeky. Hey, here's another good one. What's wet black floats in water and whispers undergarments? Oh, I don't know. What's that? Refined oil. Refined oil. <laughs> what's, what's wet, black, and floats in water and shouts, knickers? Jimmy! What? Crude oil. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's, he's giving us a definition. A definition? How to define agony. How do you define agony? What is the definition of agony? It's a man hanging on a cliff with one arm with an itchy behind. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time we went outside to see who's in the joke box. Good idea. <laughs> What do you get if you cross a cow with a duck? I don't know. What do you get if you cross a cow with a duck? Cream quackers. Did you hear about the red sauce chasing the brown sauce? No, I didn't. It couldn't catch you. What do you give a sick budgie? I don't know. What do you give a sick budgie? Treatment. Where, where do wasps, wasps go when they're ill? I don't know. Where do wasps go when they're ill? To the hospital. Why do these hum? I don't know. Because I don't know the words. Please. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cook. Cook who? That's the first one I've heard this year. How can you tell if a ghost is standing up straight? I don't know. How can you tell if a ghost is standing up straight? Use a spirit level. What did the robber say when he robbed the glue factory? What did the robber say? <laughs> when he robbed the glue factory. It's a stick up. Who invented fire? I don't know who invented fire. Oh, some bright spark. What in Paris is very tall and wobbles? I don't know what in Paris is very tall and wobbles. The Trifle Tower. <laughs> the Trifle Tower, that was good, I wasn't was it? On it. <laughs> but now it's time for our silly sound spot. Oh. <laughs> who was that? It was 
didn't me on it. Listen, get off with it. <laughs> this is the time for the silly sound spot where we want you in the audience to come down here and say what the silly sound sounds like. So who would like to come on the floor and say what the silly sound sounds like? Who would like to come like? on the floor? Who Let's see. Like Let's have Wayne. Come on come down. Come on. Yay. 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 Now you pick two. And I'll have Michael and Simon. Come Michael and Simon. Yay. Oh, there you are. You I'm stand sure that's somebody's catchphrase, you know. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. Right, Everybody now, says, come on down, don't they? We're going to do it different this time. What we're going to do this time is play you an individual, each each of you, an individual sound. Yeah. And I want you to tell us what you think it is. Let's move back a right, bit. You stand now, in a straight I'm, line. That's we're it. going to give you an example. Let's hear the first sound and I'll tell you what I mean. <laughs> now, you see, that was rain and an arrow. So what would that be? That would be a, rain a rainbow. And a, bow. a rainbow. Rainbow. Right. Do you understand? You get it? Let's play the first you're sound lucky for. I don't. Well, just because you're stupid. <laughs> first sound for Wayne. Right. Now what was that? It was a dog barking, but what else was it? Could it have an been? Ambulance? Yeah. Maybe not an ambulance. What about a, a fire? A fire. So what's fire? A hot one. Oh, it's hot when it's fire. And what was the second one? Whoa, whoa. A dog. So what so does that mean? Hot dog. Hot dog. A hot dog, yes! Yeah. 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 A hot dog. See when the tomato sauce runs down your face. Oh, and... <laughs> what about Amy? Let's take here, here. Here's Amy's sound coming. <laughs> now, what was the first sound there? Um, sheep. What's, sheep. Ba what's baby sheep? Lamb. Lamb. And what was the second thing, do you think? When you go, yeah, ha, 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 ha. Karate. No, no, no. Well, again, again. again. Ha, ha, ha. Ch Ch chopping chop. So what does that make? Lamb chop. A lamb chop! Yeah. Let's have Michael's. Michael's sound. Hello, Michael. <laughs> What's that, then? What do you think the first one was? An elephant? Oh. A phone. So what's that? What's an elephant got? A trunk? Call. Trunk call. A trunk call. Nearly got it. Let's hear, um, what's this man's name? I Simon. Got, he's got a skin nose, look. A skin nose. Look, see, put the camera on his skin nose. Now, you better help Simon, because you were talking. I know I was talking, but the first, the first one, Simon, was actually music in a church, and when you get married and you walk down the aisle, you go, do, 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 do. And what was so, the second one? And it was, it was, what was it, bells? So what was it? Bells ringing. So it was a, a wedding ring. That's not bad, I think... Anyway, I think they did, they did all, yeah. all did so well. No, they were, they were quite I can't hard get the today. words out today, they can I? quite hard to do. I think we all get a prize, shan't we? Great. We'll all get... A joke machine fun pack. Oh, oh here we are there. There's, there's the, are. Joke, there's the machine joke machine fun pack, which we'll all get at the end of the show to take away, which has lots of books inside and also a copy of my LP. So, so off back to your seats. Off back to your seats. Back outside to see who's calling, who's at the joke box. Great. What happened at the cannibal's wedding? I don't know what happened at the cannibal's wedding. The bride and groom got toasted. Why were the flies playing football on the saucer? I don't know. Why were the flies playing football on the saucer? Because they were trying to win the cup. The best time to take a bath is, is before you retire. You mean I don't have to take another bath until I'm 65? What do you get if a million plums can squeeze through a door? I don't know. Plum jam. Who's the best underwater spy? I don't know who's the best underwater spy. James Pond. Does your, is your dog fond of children? Yes, but he prefers biscuits. What did the policeman say to his stomach? I don't know what did the policeman say to his stomach. You're under a vest. Right. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's houses and all the king's men had scrambled eggs for breakfast again. What was Nelson's half-brother called? I don't know. What was Nelson's half-brother called? Half Nelson. What goes tick-tock, woof-woof? I don't know. What goes tick-tick, woof-woof? <laughs> a watchdog. <laughs> They're getting worse out there, don't you? <laughs> but now it's time for Tag the Gag. Yes, this is where you tell a joke and Jimmy's got to finish it. So let's have the first joke from Jennifer. What is the opposite of minimum? What's the opposite of minimum? Mini-dad. Right? 
Come on, Matthew, see if you can get them. Right. What, what, what's a cannibal children's favourite game? What? What's cannibal children's, children's favourite game? Swallow the leader. Yeah. Oh, I got it! Oh! Two, uh, two. Come on, one of you has to beat a Michael. What goes ha ha bong? Ha ha bong. Um, um, uh, a I'm man laughing his head off. Yeah. Oh, he's got it! Oh, yeah. It's, it's all up to you, Kevin. You've got to beat him. Come oh, on, think of it. What's the definition of a caterpillar? Uh, ah. Definition of a caterpillar? Uh, uh, a worm. No, I can't remember he that gives one. In. A worm with a fur coat on. A worm with a fur coat oh. on, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, though. He got three out of four, so a big cheer for Jimmy. Yeah. Oh. I've been reading loads of joke books this week, but I think it's time to go over and find out how our jokers of the week are getting on over here. This car seems to be getting bigger. <laughs> I need a wee parachute to get down. Right, Andrea and Andrea, are we ready to go and see come what on. the joker of the week is? Come you come with me. She's Andrea, the big girl, isn't she? Go that side and Andrew, you come She's beside me. Oi. She's one of them girls you go... Jimmy! <laughs> kissy, kissy. <laughs> now, Andrew, have you managed to pick us a good joke? Right, nice big loud voice. Give us your joke. Don't you enjoy the sound of church bells? Sorry. I said, don't you like the bells? Eh? Aren't the bells wonderful? It's no good. I can't hear a word you're saying for those blooming bells. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's good. Andrea. What, what's yours, Andrea? I'll just give you a wee shave. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> there, was a, there was an old man of healing who had an expert feeling. But the sign on the door said, don't spit on the floor, so he looked up and spat on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we think? Do we think it was Andrea? Or have we better ask Fred? Better ask Fred. No, Fred oh, says no. Fred says no. Um, Fred, what do you think of Andrew's? Yeah. 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 Andrew's our winner. Yeah. So, so, Andrew, I proclaim you the Joker of the Week. Trophy for Andrew. Oh, let's have us a heavy look at this big trophy. Andrew. Look, it's solid gold, so solid it, gold. I hope nobody mugs you on the way home. <laughs> and we've also got a runner-up pack for Andrea, well, which has got everything in it. Everybody gets the pack anyway. Yeah. So back to your station. Well done. Make a round of applause for Andrew. And Andrea. Well, that's about it for this week. Except Jimmy. What? I think you better clean that car out. Have uh, you seen the colour of the wheels? I don't want you getting that car. It's full of spiders, I told don't you. Don't be stupid. Get the wheels clean. No, what? I'm fed up. I hate it. I'm always scurrying around here. I'm terrible. So if any of you can oh, clean spider, fed up. I'm going to clean you? everything everywhere. Don't forget. Where? 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 Oh, Jimmy! 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 It's gone. Where's the great big hairy beastie? A big hairy beastie. Is it gone now? Yeah, it's gone. I bet there's loads more spiders living in this studio, in the ceilings and in the walls. Oh, all over the place. Yeah, how do we get rid of them? Well, we shout spiders. After they, three? After three, everybody shouts spiders and they all go Shall away. Shall we try it? You ready? One, two, three... SPIDERS! Not loud, Not enough. loud enough. One, two, two three... three. SPIDERS! And the Crankies are currently appearing at the Festival Theatre, Paynton. Oh, I left a hole in it. Good. Oh, Tommy Boyd's coming next week. Great. I can show him our worm, eh? See you next week. See ya.
up this Saturday morning with Henry Kelly and guests. After James Bond, what next for Patrick McNee? Zany comic Pamela Stevenson reveals all about her one-woman show. While Rusty's really gone roving this week, all the way to Barbados. Ritzy chef Michael Quinn serves up a simple souffle. Ian Bolt's back with golf tips. And Jane Asher has more holiday ideas in Schools Out. All this and more this Saturday on TVAM. Inside every special pack of Kellogg's Corn Flakes, there's one of eight free model aeroplane kits just waiting to get out. If you're happy and you're happy, clap your hands. If you're happy and you're happy, clap your hands. That means mommy's not forgotten, baby, what was on your father, man, you're happy and you're happy. Sterling Health understand the problems of nappy rash, so baby wet ones are specially formulated by Sterling Health to kill bacteria and neutralize ammonia, major causes of nappy rash. Baby wet ones every nappy change help prevent nappy rash. Clap your hands for baby wet ones, clap your hands. Clover have asked me to sort out some confusion. They think I'm good at that. Now, you might expect to find clover wrapped like butter because it's churned with cream, but they've added vegetable oil so it spreads from the fridge. So, what's the problem? <laughs> they've put it in a tub. <laughs> You see, some people don't think things in tubs taste like butter. So to stop any confusion, clover has a real buttery taste, even though it's in a tub. <laughs> I'm glad that's sorted out. Clover from Dairy Crest Foods. It's what butter lovers have been waiting for. Now that's what I call music. Five. Thirty. Top 30 hits on one posh double album. Make it pink. TV Times focuses on Pia Zadora. Actress, singer, can her husband's millions really buy her stardom? Watch the Des O'Connor show and judge for yourself. Terry Duckworth goes for the latest men's fashions, but his dad doesn't. Who could replace these screen legends? Who could be the next Miss United Kingdom? And who could win Ultra Quiz? Who and what will be on ITV and Channel 4 next week? Find out from TV Times. This week's TV Times. Bonjour, messieurs et mesdames. Voulez-vous coucher avec monsieur Mitterrand in a moderate oven until light and fluffy? Tarayadara! Inglese pasta cannelloni. Chapati papadama hatma taj mahal. And today, critics discuss. This is Capital Radio 194, and this is the new Kenny Everett show going out live every Saturday from noon to two. Listen to me, Roddy. You talk about this, you talk about me, or we'll kill you. Tuesday at 9, meet King and Castle, a bent copper and a rookie private eye. Let's hear it. You might be the beneficiary of some money. His money isn't enough to save him now. Wyatt? Yes. Billy? Yes. I'm on touch for the Broadley Hospital cleaning contract. You're sort of pretty disgusting, really, aren't you? What about 1,500 pounds? As it happens, I desperately need 1,500 cash, but the answer is no. Sparks fly when King and Castle team up. The storyboard presentation, Tuesday at 9, on Thames. And hopefully you can join me again on Monday evening when at 7 the search for Superperson continues with the Krypton Factor. It's Coronation Street at 7.30 and at 8, comedy with affairs of the heart. Between now and then, have a great London weekend. I'm sure you will. Tina, it's all yours. <laughs>